In this exercise, we're going to take a look at the custom painter class. What we're going to do is we're going to actually take this giant canvas here and just draw custom objects right on there. So let's take a look at our code. We've just got our main, we've got our my app, we've got our state. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to manipulate this text a little bit. Let's just say hello. And we want to do a new style. We've done all this before. I'm just making it bigger so it stands out. New text style. And in our style, we want our font size to be 30. And let's make a font way to bold while we're at it here. There we go. Now we need to create a new custom painter, and this is going to be a little bit challenging. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a class, and let's call this painter, which inherit, or I should say extends, not inherit, cross languages there for a minute. And we want the custom painter class here. Now you notice how the first thing it's complaining about is we need to override custom paint and should repaint. So let's go ahead and do that. So we've got our paint and should repaint. Got those both in there and we're just going to say should repaint and let's say turn false just because we don't want this painting and chewing up the battery. Now the paint is where all our work is going to be done. So let's go back down here real quick. And what we need to do is actually put a new custom painter object on here. So we'll say new custom painter. I should say custom paint, sorry. And in our custom paint, we're going to put a new custom painter, which is a new painter. Here we go. A little bit confusing on the naming conventions there. So what's going to happen here is our custom paint is going to be on the canvas and it's just going to call this paint function whenever it is painted. We don't have it repainting, which means we're not going to be chewing up the battery because repainting is going to go and check to see if it's dirty and then repaint it every time it changes. We're not doing any of that. So, so far we've got absolutely nothing, but what you're not seeing is there's now this invisible canvas right here that we can play with. And that's all going to be in this paint function. So let's go ahead and play around with this a little bit. We'll say, we'll say final radius, and I want this to be 100.0. And let's make a final offset. And I want this to be 0 0.0 to 75.0. Now we want to actually paint. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say final. And we're going to grab our paint. And this is a lot like you're sitting in art class and you're going to grab a paintbrush here. And we're going to say paint equal new paint. And we're going to just kind of select what we're going to paint here. Now, we're going to get a little tricky here. We're going to get rid of that semicolon, and we're just going to say is anti-alias equals true. We're going to say it's true. Come on now. Ah, it's because I got that semicolon up there. My bad. I always do that on accident. It's just years and years of typing code. I always put the semicolon there. So we're going to say stroke width. I want that to be 10.0. Color is going to be colors blue. 
and we want to shade that a little bit. And let's add some style to this. And we want painting style stroke. So there's a lot going on there. What is exactly happening? Well, we've got some, some follow through going here. So basically, whenever you see these dot dots, just means we're using the last object. So notice the semicolon placement. Very important. If you screw up like I did, you'll have all sorts of errors. So essentially, we've got a new paintbrush sitting here. We've got a radius, an offset. Uh, a radius is just going to be like the width of a circle, where an offset is like the x, y coordinates from 0, 0, starting top of the screen. We're going to go down to 75. And then we've got our paintbrush here. Now, I'm going to make a few more offsets. Whoops. And we're going to say body start. I want this to be a new offset. And we're going to say 0, 0.0. And this is going to go to 50.0. And we're just going to say 0, 0 to 0, 0. Now comes the actual fun part. So far, we've done absolutely nothing. If we just save and run that and we look at the emulator, absolutely nothing's happened. We're just doing all the setup in the background. We've got our radius, our paintbrush, and our offsets. And now we're going to actually do something. So we're going to say canvas. And we're going to draw a circle. Now, what we want to do here is we want the offset. which as you can see is up here, it's 0075. And now we want to do the radius. And we want to give it to paintbrush. In this case, it's paint. Save that, flip over to our emulator, and you can see now we have this nice big circle. So really what we've done is we've said grab the canvas, take the brush, and draw a circle using the radius and that specific paintbrush. Now let's draw a line. Just because we want to. And from here, we need a starting position. So we're going to say body start. And we need an ending position. And we want body end in this case. And we're just going to use the same paintbrush. So everything's going to look exactly the way it was. And let's flip over here and you can see now we have this little line. So what you're really getting here is that there's layers, meaning hello was on here first, but let's flip that around and see what happens here. Let's grab this, grab that, save it here, flip over our emulator. Notice how suddenly hello is on top. It's called layering. So it's going to get painted in the order that it's processed. So we're painting custom painter first, then we're painting this text on here. For the text, all the painting handled in the background, so you don't really have to worry about it. Pretty actually cool, huh? All right, so let's make a rectangle. Let's finish this up. We're just going to make a giant rectangle around it. So we're going to say final rect, rect equal new. And we want rect from circle. And we want to do the center is our offset. And our radius is the actual radius itself. Now we're going to say final paint. And we're just going to borrow some of this right here. That way we don't have to retype all of that. Now let's uh, let's change this up a little bit. Let's say colors dot orange, and we've got the stroke in there. So now what we're going to do here is just draw a rectangle. 
So we're going to draw rect. We've got our rect in there, and we want to switch that from paint to rect paint. We're just grabbing a different paintbrush here. And hot reloading took care of it, and bingo. We've got our nice rectangle around. And you can see how we've got our layering going on as well. So that is a good example of how to extend the custom painter object and actually work with it and how layering takes place inside of Flutter.